What's up everyone? It's Connie from This Old Dress. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in such a long time, but June has just been such a crazy month. We've been wrapping up the end of the school year, and I've flown back to my home in Canada, in Calgary, and I've just been spending time with my family and catching up with friends. So, needless to say, it's been pretty hectic. Um, but I thought, since I'm in my home in Canada, I thought that I'd do the closet confidential tag, since I have full access to my closet here, which holds all the clothing items that I've had since growing up. So, why don't we just go ahead and get started. Okay, question number one is what is the oldest item in your closet? So I was really digging and I found this little gem here. Uh, it's this really cute floral spaghetti strap summer dress that my mom actually made for me. Um, I remember when I was in grade six, my mom used to make all my clothes for me. She's such an amazing seamstress. I remember we'd always go to the fabric store and we'd pick out different fabrics and patterns and my mom would just whip up all these clothes for me. <laughs> I used to rock this dress on top of a white t-shirt, um, super 90s look. And actually, it's a little bit on trend right now. It kind of reminds me of dresses that you can find at Brandy Melville. Um, pretty summery. Maybe I could wear it still, but maybe it's a little bit too short, so no. <laughs> Okay, question number two is, what is the newest item in your closet? Um, so I just picked this up the other day from American Apparel. It's this long cardigan shawl that I'm sure you've seen everywhere already. I just keep going into American Apparel and I keep touching it and trying it on, but I never end up buying it because I just really can't justify spending so much money on just a sweater. But I took the plunge and I picked it up because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I think it's going to be great for when I'm on the airplane. Basically, it's going to be like a blanket when I'm watching movies or cold. I think that's going to be a pretty good staple. So it's super cozy and I'm loving it so much. Question number three is what is the most expensive item? It's not actually a clothing item. I don't really own anything designer brand. Usually just kind of buy things kind of mid-range that are comfortable and practical. Um, so it would have to be these Ray-Ban Club Master sunglasses. I order them off Amazon.com and they're such a classic piece and I know that I'm going to wear them for a really long time and they go with every outfit that I have and really I do basically wear these every day. So the cost per wear is pretty good if you ask me. And I just think they're such a timeless piece. Um, so I think it was a pretty good investment. So yeah. Question number four is the biggest bang for your buck. I think I'm going to have to go with this light wash kind of boxy oversized denim jacket that I picked up at a local boutique in Macau. Um, I think it was only like 100 mop, which is just a tiny bit over 10 bucks. Um, I thought that was a pretty good bargain. I've just been wearing it a ton. It's pretty good quality. Can never go wrong with a classic denim jacket. Um, yeah, so if you're ever in Macau, there's tons of really awesome boutiques where you just have to hunt a little bit and you can get some pretty good finds. Question number five, what is the biggest bargain? I'm going to have to go with this silk navy blue tank top that I picked up in Calgary a couple years ago. Uh, so there's this community center called Hillhurst Sunnyside Community Center and every couple months they have this used clothing sale, kind of like a thrift store, but people just donate their clothes. Then they set it up all in the gym and you can come check it out and pick up some items. And usually the week after that they set up all the clothes that didn't get sold and you can just kind of take it for free. And so I picked this guy up and it cost me zero dollars. And to me that's a pretty good bargain in my opinion. It's a really nice basic item and I'm pretty sure it's real silk so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Question number six, what is an item in your closet that everyone hates but you love? Um, I don't actually have this item with me. It's back in Macau. Um, so I'll just insert a picture right here. So it's this furry toque that I bought in Japan when I was there. So I have this thing when I go traveling where I really like to immerse myself in the culture and basically try to pretend like I'm one of the locals. Um, I really like to get inspiration from the fashion that I see on the street and from the girls and so when I was in Japan everyone was wearing this fur toque like all the girls had it on and so I was like I need to get that um, so I found it at one of the department stores and I picked it up it's so soft it's obviously faux fur um, and I was really rocking it the whole time I was in Japan and I loved it so much um, and then when I went back to Macau and I wore it people were like what is that on your head? You look like a human matchstick or other random not nice comments. Um, but whatever, I still think it's pretty cute and I'll probably wear it from time to time. Okay, moving on to question number seven. What is the biggest waste of money? Uh, I was really digging in my closet here and I came up with this tweed blazer jacket 
dealio. <laughs> um, I picked this up when I went to San Francisco. We were just shopping around. I think this was from Buffalo Exchange. I hadn't bought anything and it was the last day and I was like, I need to buy something from San Francisco. I just have to. Just kind of as a memoir or, I don't know, a souvenir. And I ended up getting this. I thought it was cute at the time. Kind of 50s housewife-ish. But it is so, so itchy. <laughs> like you put it on and you immediately just want to scratch your whole body. I don't know. I think I've worn it zero times. Needless to say, that was a pretty big waste of money. Moving on to question number eight. What are your three favorite items in your closet at the moment? Number one is this free to be wild sports bra that I picked up from Lululemon the other day. I really love this lattice detail on the back. Um, it's super comfortable and gives you lots of support. I also love it because not only does it look really great at the gym when you're wearing your workout clothes, but you can also wear it under some low back or backless tops and I think it would add a lot of interest to your outfit. So yeah, I've been really digging that. My second item is gonna be these brown leather slides that I picked up from Joe Fresh last summer. Um, I've been noticing that slides are really on trend right now so I've been wearing these a ton and they're super comfortable and they really go with every outfit and what's not to like about that? My last item is not very interesting. They're just my Topshop high-waisted Jamie jeans with the knee rips. I'm sure you've seen them all over my YouTube videos already. Um, but they're just such an amazing pair of jeans. They fit my body so well and the length is great because they have the petite section um, and they're just super comfortable and stretchy and I just love them a lot. And not only are they a favorite item right now, I'm pretty sure they'll just be a favorite of mine for a really long time. So thanks for watching everyone. That concludes my closet confidential tag. I tag these people right here and any one of you who's watching this, I'd love to see your responses as well. So feel free to do a video or just comment below. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. And if you haven't done so already, do follow me on Instagram at this old dress. I'd love to see you there. And I've actually been working on updating my Facebook page as well. So also check me out at this old dress and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.